famous, I had a famous skin. What is she saying there? I wake up feeling like you won't. I got a little bone to pick today, y'all. I recently put out a couple of videos that compared my voice between what it sounds like now versus what it sounded like a few years ago. You wanna make it right, but now it's too late. Red bone now. Too late. You wanna make it right, but now it's too late. Thinking about you then. Do you not think so? Thinking about you now. I've been thinking about forever. Oh. And immediately there were comments. One was like, well, that's because you got a bunch of auto tune on there. So it's really not the voice, it's the equipment that got better. I ain't gonna lie, man. I took that personally, bro. I'm, I'm looking at this man like Michael Jordan. I'm like, I took that personally. I don't want people to think that on either side of the spectrum, on one side you think, oh, I can't afford the equipment that person has, so I'll never be able to sound like them. And it can be discouraging to people who can't afford really great equipment or can't figure out how to work very expensive equipment. But on the other side, it could give the false impression to people who can afford it, who do know how to work that kind of stuff, and think that they can actually sound better just because of the equipment, that it'll just make them a better singer. It cannot happen. The ironic thing is that when I started doing these covers, I was doing it to promote promote an EP I just put out called Find Me, it's streaming everywhere. Like 90% of those vocals were recorded in a super expensive studio here in Atlanta. I believe it was on like a Neumann 80, U87. This is a $2,500 microphone with a Grammy award winning audio engineer running it and mixing it. And even still, I go back and listen to those vocals and say, my voice sounds better now. Yes. Equipment can make your voice sound sweeter, clear, have more clarity. You can sing on the most expensive microphone you can find, and that microphone is only gonna highlight your strengths and your weaknesses. And so if you don't have any emotion in your voice, if you sound boring, if you don't have any dy dynamic range to your voice, that microphone is gonna show that. A microphone won't bring you breath control, emotion, and conviction in the way that you sing a song. It's not gonna bring you higher vocal range. I used to not have a lot of breath control. I didn't have a lot of range. I used to sing very, very soft, very, very raspy. Cause in the silence of these walls. And not because I wanted to, but because that's all my voice could do. It, if I could go higher and stronger, I would, but. I couldn't, I just couldn't. I was looking up YouTube tutorials, I took vocal lessons, I was just Googling like, yo, vocal warm-ups. Two major moments happened. First time I took vocal lessons, uh, this guy, James, he, I told him that there was a note that I couldn't hit. And he said, I know you can hit that note because you do it while you're talking. Talking and singing are using the same muscles. We hit notes all the time. If I told you to say all the time, you can come back and say it to me all the time. All, and you can do it the exact all the time. It's when we switch to our singing that we feel like there's a whole nother set of muscle. If you notice in that older video, I'm like, over enunciating all that stuff like that and really trying to sound sweet and I'm sweetening up my voice and really trying to soften it out. And he was like, when you speak, you don't open your mouth that much. Like it's, your lips go about this far apart and that's it. All that, ah, ah, doing all this, uh, it's, sing how you speak. And it just like poof, blew my brain. And I may open my mouth wide every now and then on some certain singing parts. For the most part, you notice like people say it looks effortless for me to do what I do, but no, it's because I've learned a better technique of singing. Uh, and then second key was really on the Laugh Now, Cry Later video. And it was me just playing around. This Laugh Now, Cry Later was me trying. It was a bad joke. It was a joke that didn't land as funny. Sometimes we laugh and sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Baby. It was a joke that didn't land as funny, but instead it landed as good. I was thinking I can sound like Bobby Womack or something, man, like an old school soul singer. The imitation didn't work because I didn't sound anything like Bobby Womack, but I did sound like a new me. And it opened up this world of like using the full tone of my voice. I was trying to sound so sweet, I didn't allow my voice to do what it wanted to do. I wish I sounded like all these other sweet, soft singers. And it's like, but you're not that. And that's a, I got several words. It's gonna be dropping boom, bombs. I wish I had like a little boom. Mm. Oftentimes, we can be hindering our own success because we are trying to make our success look like someone else's. And then wonder why it ain't working. I, 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 I wish I just had five more minutes 
of your time. Just five more minutes. You have been trying to succeed in the lane that ain't yours. It ain't yours. You not them. You just started to let the voice fall out in the way that it wanted to. Trying to have fun with your voice. That struggle and that that, that emotion and conviction that you hear in my voice now, the thing that I was trying to smooth away, that's what people have come to know my voice from, and they feel it, right? That is a word in and of itself. Eh, yeah, boy. The parts of you that you've been trying to smooth over, sand paper down, the rough edges about you, of everything that you've been trying to hide, the thing that you've been trying to minimize, delegitimize, Yeah, 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 even now, even now, even now, I, 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 I dare you, I, I, I just dare you to be who you've been called to be, I dare you to use what has been naturally given to you that no one else can give or take, I dare you, I dare you, yeah, 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 when you move in a way, that hopes that help will come along, that resources will come along for you to achieve what you desire. But you move without the expectation of it happens. You're not expecting someone to come along and make this work for you. You're just, I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna work at it. I'm gonna keep going. And as I get better at it, someone will notice. The right people will notice. If it's supposed to be, what's for me, it'll, it'll happen. If you are just starting to sing, only upgrade as as you can afford and need for it to happen once you've outgrown the things that you are in right now. But until then, like, just grow as like in what you have. If you got an iPhone, that thing has a camera and a microphone. And that is the bare basics of what you need. And you figure out how to sound good on that. Just keep moving, keep chipping away. Keep chipping away on your own. What's supposed to happen will happen.